Hello and welcome comrades, I'm Gero, 10 DCs, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, with part 7 of the first campaign, A New Republic is Born. After finishing the co-production line in the previous episode, I noticed that there is a little improvement I can make to the rail setup in the industrial zone. Let me show you, but not before I explain to you why we are following this specific train. Well, you will see a few changes that I've made. And one of them is something that I was talking about doing in the previous one, but finally managed to do it in between the episodes for you to just see the result. So what is this train about? Well, this train is part of the distribution office and it's coming here to this warehouse where it's going to start picking up a bunch of our end products that we are going to export like food, clothes and alcohol because i had enormous traffic jumps here with the three distribution offices they definitely couldn't handle such big amounts of end products to export i also have this um road vehicle unloading loading station connected to the warehouse so that we give a little bit more space and uh, capacity to our road vehicles there is a little bit of a traffic jump here but that's only because we are still trying to empty this um uh, warehouse here and when things settle down a little bit we are going to see that uh, this is going to work a little bit more <laughs> realistic and with not that many trucks and then I will be able to get rid of probably two of those distribution offices I really really don't think I need that many but we will find out how many we need with time anyway um, as you can see we have this rail line here constructed for this warehouse there we go, connecting to the main line here. And we have this also connection with the idea that if a tr train is coming empty from the crops delivery, they can come here and join the warehouse and pick up the goods if necessary, of course. And there we go. It, now it's going, I think it's completely full of 100%, yeah, with 23,000 of uh, value of the cargo. Amazing. All right, so the setup goes like this. I have this um, station added here, the warehouse with storage percentage of 50%. Why? Well, because this is not a really big one. It's 650 tons, so 50% is like 300. And yeah, we can very quickly reach them with a, even a little bit longer train than this one. So yeah, there we go. Uh, because I was doing some experiments, let me just check if everything is correct here. Yeah, I think everything is fine and we should also see them delivering the crops as usual as before over here but now we have enough so we don't have to all right what else do we have here well first of all we have a really really small fix here with the rail the trains are now coming on the right making a circle from here and then returning the normal path without any crossings here i don't know why i didn't figure it out in the first place before but now we have it also i fixed a little bit of a problem here with the semaphores how do we call them semaphores yeah and now everything works without a problem we also have this dirt coal processing plant because we had um plenty of coal ore sitting here without being um consumed and what's the deal here i saw that at maximum capacity which we rarely reach we can get up to 700 coal ore and as you know these guys consume 210 so three of them would consume 630 and i think that's a pretty good ratio for our setup right now and yeah i think it's working really nice i also changed a little bit here this uh, uh conveyor connection we have the overpass now with um three inputs and one output and i moved it to this side and yeah we have here a path for this processing plant and a conveyor engine that brings the the coal ore to this processing plant and i think that's pretty much it you see now we are coming down here which is amazing on this warehouse i actually probably have to check um oof, yeah this is this is absolutely slowing down everybody uh that's what i'm saying i should have put these farms on the other side but you know next time to be honest it's maybe not too late and we can put this one here but i don't have this connection yeah yeah fuck that. i i don't you, you know you cannot be perfect from the first uh, attempt so i'm not going to feel bad about it it's it is what it is 
Oh, field at 100%. Are we going to see another train coming here? That would be very nice. Why is it 100%? We have like 100, 100, 100. Lower capacity is 650. Oh, so 650. If what? If we get something else, I guess. Also, there is something I don't quite understand here. Oh, I think I know I don't understand it. Oh, I'm... I, yeah, it's just that trains work a little bit different here, you know? If we put this here, I think this is going to turn blue now. Maybe. And here I need to have one as well. And now this one is going to go. Yeah, yeah, because... Yeah, it was my mistake. It was absolutely my mistake. They are waiting here. They were waiting here for nothing. You just have to be careful because it works different in this game with the semaphores. You have to cut the blocks yourself every time so it doesn't automatically cut them when you have a junction like this one. Okay. Um, let's see what's going on here. So this guy is here. This guy is going for crops. This guy is waiting for something and this guy as well. But I would love to see someone being sent to do more food and stuff, you know? Because we are at maximum capacity here. Yeah, that's the problem with this warehouse. It's kind of small. Maybe I should have put a big warehouse and then um, a rail station for a distribution office. Hmm. Uh, curious what the problem is. Ah. And now immediately we start going. Storage percentage, 10%. This one is going, right? Yeah, to bring alcohol. Maybe the confusion happens because we have um, more than one uh, type of good there. Hmm. I don't know. But why such a small uh, train? I don't understand considering that we have so many wagons here. No, I actually don't. Oh my god, it's because I'm dumb. Maybe now we're going to... Yes. Oh my god, it was, it was me. It was me being dumb. I should have bought more. Now that's, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh my god. Uh, this one took two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, I guess... I guess it kind of splits them to the amount of uh, vehicles that we have here. Maybe? I don't know, because we still have some here. Well, I think this is going to start working as uh, intended with time. Let's see how we're doing here with the distribution offices. I think we're doing fine. I think I can remove... Hmm... These two, I think, is smarter because this is kind of closer to this warehouse and that warehouse yeah okay so sorry guys um sell all vehicles and we are going to demolish this can i just delete this no i cannot i don't understand your game why you do this eh. um Okay, this is going down. I'm curious what percentage I set here. That warehouse, if it's more than 10%. Large farm, grain storage, road cargo station. Wait, wait, wait. 10%, yeah. Oh, clo no, not clothing. Clothing is here. Yeah. Hmm, interesting that they are not going for the food. Ah, maybe because I don't have capacity here, of course. I mean... They will not be able to leave anything there. Okay, okay. Cool. This really tiny train now is going to come here to pick up a tiny amount of alcohol. That's alright. That's alright. Um, okay. I think... I think I can... I think I can go... Yeah, I can, I can dispose of this one as well. I don't think we are going to need it. There we go. 
And now these guys are going to have to do all the work. Now the big one is going to pick up a bunch of food and alcohol. And hopefully this is going to be uh, fixing that issue for us. What are we doing here? Why are we not sending more? Yeah, this one is in the station. This one is moving, this one is moving, and this one is moving. Oh, I guess it doesn't feel like we have to. Uh, which is interesting. Getting the alcohol, because this is now still full, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, no. You at 10%. Okay, okay, so now these guys are going, right? Yeah, yeah. Now these guys are going to be filling up filling it up again man i love this game everything is so cool are you coming here yes you are with food probably and that's that's a bunch of money here wow a lot of clothing no look at that okay okay we're going to make some money finally <laughs> oh Good stuff, good stuff. Very expensive stuff. Yeah, I think um, now that we empty this, with time I will find out that this is enough. One distribution office for all of this. How are we doing here? I actually... Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I actually bought um, even more trains for, um, for the coal, but I think <laughs> it's still not enough. Maybe I should buy even more. This one is bringing probably crops. Yeah. How are the crops doing? Yeah, going down. Now they're probably going to start going down faster because we're going to start producing. Because we didn't have enough space maybe previously to store. We actually are fine. Okay, and here, yeah, yeah, the food. The food is definitely... The, the food is definitely a big consumption. Actually much bigger than the, the fabric factory. Alright, alright, let's see how things uh, go with time. I really hope that I have... Um, I will have enough capacity in this distribution office. Okay, now why are you waiting? Now I cannot understand. Uh, or maybe I can. Let me see. This was actually a mistake in the first place. I should not have had things like that. How can we fix it though? Yeah, because the whole thing is considered one section here. And I don't think I will be able to place... No. Nope. Mm. Do I take the rail on this other side? That's probably a good idea, but for now, because I don't want to do too many things here, let's just, yeah, delete. Yeah, unfortunately, yep, I'm so sorry, but this has to go. And now what I'm going to do is, just connect here straight. Oh. Straight connection, and I would like to put some... Semaphores here. Yeah, this one has to be a chain, I guess. No, 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 actually it doesn't. And this one as well. Now I can put the switch for everyone coming from the distribution office. Uh, like this. And here maybe a chain one. And on this side, we have this. Okay, I think that's better. Yep. You're going to figure it out. Yep, yep. There you go. Aha, uh -huh, that can be a problem. <laughs> ah, it's going for crops. Okay. So now I think I have all my... Yeah, all my vehicles here yeah sure now you're going to go there right yep you should awesome awesome good stuff 
And you're going to come here again. Yeah, and more coal. Beautiful. I like it. I mean, I don't. I, I should not have done this. This is stupid. Hey, why the hell he does that, man? I don't understand. Just going for clothes? It's very interesting. How he decides to do it. Maybe I should not do this. I think I did the percentage too low. Probably I should keep it at 50 as before. I just didn't have enough uh, wagons. That was the problem. And... I think even if it's at 50, I will have enough time before it gets full to, to bring the train here. Yeah. Sounds reasonable to me. And here, the foot is still very high. Maybe I was too fast <laughs> at removing one of the distribution offices. But uh, any in any case, I think I like it here more. So if I need to, I can add another one. If we cannot handle this. Because we are 88% full. Because they're also dealing with other shit, right? Um, they're bringing the food and the alcohol to the city, if I'm not mistaken. Which I could have had a distribution office here. No, but it doesn't make sense because this is the source building. So it's a better idea to have the um, distribution office close to the source building. So that the truck doesn't have to move to, to long distances. I think I'm liking it like that. I think they're going to handle it. Um, we shall see. If this doesn't start going down fast... Oh, also the alcohol, I guess. Um, I would really love to keep this percentage lower. I will add another distribution office. It's okay. And here we're getting filled again, so we should be sending another train, right? This direction. I think this is a uh, call. Why are you confused? Viewer or possible... Wait, wait, wait. Possible issue exists on the route. Aha. So what you're probably wanting to come here. Okay, in this case... Um, yeah, I shouldn't have them coming there. They can just use the other one. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yep. Yeah. What am I doing? Like this? Maybe you're not going to have problems figuring it out? Yeah, that was the problem. In general, maybe I don't even need this junction. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. If the distribution office can work with... Uh, it's going to figure out things on its own if I remove this. I don't know. And I don't know if I want to test it. Crops and going for crops again. Okay. Waiting here. Waiting there. Everything seems reasonable. And you're going to come to the distribution office now. And you're going to go for the foot. Okay, okay. Um, everything seems reasonable to me. All right. Um, in this case, let's go. Iron mining. Set up facilities for mining and production of iron. Yes. Greetings, comrade. Let's put the normal speed. As uh, the Minister of Industry of our Soviet Republic, I must emphasize the importance of mining iron. Iron is a key input material for production, producing steel, which is integral for the, to the growth of our industries. By prioritizing iron mining, we can ensure a steady supply of this essential resource, lowering construction costs for almost every kind of infrastructure. Okay, comrade. When establishing iron mines, we must choose locations where iron ore is abundant. Building mines in areas with higher iron ore reserves will optimize production efficiency and yield the greater supply of this resource. As with the coal, build an iron mine with source quality at least 15%. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I don't need that. Iron. Oh, is that the closest one? It's not very close, to be honest. Could I build another city around here? That would be... We can also export it there, I guess. That would be interesting. Yeah, maybe maybe it's a better idea. I mean, I have a 5% here in employment, which is fine. Uh, and I think I, I have people who need housing anyway. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we're going to do. Iron. Oh. 37. Oh, 74. 76. Oh, yes. Uh, how are we going to do this, though? Like, we definitely want the output to be around this direction so that we can build stuff here. Or maybe like this. Yeah, and then I will have um, storage there and we will build here. Yeah, kind of makes sense. 76. I don't think I can get any better than that. No, no, 76 it is. Boom. Oh, faster speed. You don't iron mine. I already did. Ah, no, it's still constructing. Takes a bunch of time. Ah, yeah, because of the underground tunnels, right? Or whatever is <laughs> underground. Oh, I love this game. Everything makes so much sense. Oh, and maybe we will export for a western country here. By the way, while this is happening, it, it did. Iron processing plants are necessary for transforming. Yeah, we already did that with the coal, man. That's all right. Um, I want to see how we're doing here. Fire prevention for civil, for residential. Guidelines, thanks to you, like shops and hospital, just in like a forest. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, and how we're doing here? Airport. Conversion to aluminium oxide. Pollution. Initiates scientific research into environmental pollution and its effects on human health. Huh. Pipeline. Am I going to need pipelines? I don't think so, but... I don't think I will need much of this in this uh, campaign, but I guess... I don't know. Should we research something? Okay, let's do a pollution stuff. Maybe that's going to increase health. Okay, let's do it like that. Okay, processing plants. Um, now the big question, right? Where is my mine? The big question is 76% to 50. So what does that mean? Four tons of iron per worker. So that's 1000, so 760. So that's three, because one is 225. 675 yeah around three so it's pretty much not pretty much but more or less the same ratio steel mill okay maybe we'll have to do this as well oh my god the pollution holy all right um cool hey by the way do i need to research something else here no i wanted to see if i can use some cable ways for some something i don't know um so, we need a storage. Small aggregate storage. Large, small. Again, small. I think small is fine. Yeah, we can have the road on this side. Uh, I think a few inputs would be nice. Output, sorry. Hmm. Then maybe a bigger one. Okay, let's have a bigger one. No, I mean, no, it's too much money anyway. Let's take a small one, and then I will have a conveyor belt. I will need it anyway, so I don't think it matters much. There you go. Um, so we should have, what, a road around here? And the processing plants here, as before. And I need also a station, right? A bus station. Am I going to bring it by bus? It's kind of far. Well... This is not very close neither. We will need to establish a bridge. 
I can just create another residential area, probably. This is going to create pollution though, so... Somewhere around here. Yeah, but I will do that later. Let me just build everything. Um, okay, so what about a bus station for citizens? Bus stop. Like that in the middle here. He works. He works, yeah. Eh, okay, like that. We can connect this. We can do extender out like that. Connect here. Add some paths. Okay, now. I don't know if I want the road to continue. But if I do, I need to have the conveyor overpass and I need the one to one there one to three yeah something like that would be nice yeah I think that works that works pretty well actually maybe I can do it like this over here doesn't have to be perfect you just have to work okay all right and now we need we need processing plants. Hmm. Inputs, outputs. What if we flip? If we flip... If we flip, it works as well. But the road connection... Is in a weirder way. I think this is better. I think this is better, yeah. Yeah, we can have one... Yeah, actually, that's pretty good. I have one here. Awesome. Maybe a little bit even further away. Let's see how far it can get. That's that's pretty cool. We can have this one here. But can't build due to infrastructure. Which if what's the problem? What ah is the pillars of the is the pillars here? Is that it? I don't get it. Ah, no, 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 yeah. It just has to be a little bit further away. I see, I see. Okay, so it considers this... This green uh, dots over there part of its own construction. Okay. I don't think it has to be... It cannot be like that. We can keep it even a little bit closer here. On that side, like this. Okay, and this one is the last one. No, now I don't have inputs on this side. Like this? Yeah, that works. Sure. Uh, paths? No, thank you. Though I can put this here, maybe. Okay, that connection is fine. Okay, now we need some paths. Um... What? You... I can do it however I want here, I think. Yeah, they're pretty far. Pretty far, pretty high. Interesting, why? Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Okay, these two are connected. And this one, like that. Alright. This one looks pretty good so far. Now I just need a big storage. And... Next to the storage, maybe... Well, actually, let's build this and then we will see what happens next. Probably we'll have to export it like in the previous one. This takes some time, as you know. Oh, there is a bunch more iron here, I guess. Is it always next to the the mountain probably like in in random maps our objective is to produce 80 tons of iron ore by focusing on efficient mining and processing we can ensure a steady supply of this valuable resource for steel production let us work diligently to meet this target and strengthen the foundation of the soviet republic industries iron ore not iron ah, iron okay 
Um, okay, this one is looking pretty good. I like it very much. In the setup here. Uh, can I produce with that? No, I need to add the storage first. Okay, guys, let's see. Uh, warehouse small, aggregate storage, aggregate storage. That's the big one. What is the long one? This one? Yeah, and this one is... Oh, I can also do it with this one, probably. How much can it store? 1,000. 1,000. That's like two trains. No, let's take the big one. Yeah. Yeah, this one works. You can put it close. Closer like this somewhere. I have no idea what I want to do here. That's fine, probably. Ooh, this connection didn't work. Why did you tell me that it's going to work and now it doesn't want to work? What the hell game sometimes? Uh, I'm in the wrong place again? No. What if I flip it? The road connection there. I don't know. I don't know if it matters, honestly. Let's just put it. Now this connection doesn't work. That that cannot be true, man. Like honestly, like what's your problem, game? Okay, you know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to flip it. Not flip it, but turn it a little bit. And this should work. Uh, please? Yeah, are you going to work? No? No? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, game? Honestly. What's the problem? Building in the way. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Then we can just put it a little bit further away. And that's probably going to fix everything here. And again. And again. Building. Which building? Master go directly. Which building? I don't know, but there you go. It finally works. Oh, okay. That was intense. Um, so, what am I going to do in the end? Am I going to bring people from here? Do I want to set up the whole thing again? I don't think so. I think I can bring people from here. We will just build a road. The buses are going to take a while, but they should be able to make it. Right? I don't see a problem. Has to be through this road, I guess. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, something like that. Okay, let's go there. Let's cross the rail here. This has to be a bridge. Probably. What's going to happen if I try? Nothing is going to happen, so we need a bridge. Uh, bridge electrical with trolleys. 100 kilometers. Yeah, let's take walking speed. Distance between pillars. I have no idea what I want to do. 70, 30, wooden bridge, arch bridge, truss bridge, tight arch, beam bridge, whatever. Elevation 3 meters, current height 147,000. Um, let's just continue this road. Can we? No, I don't think I can do anything. That's it. Alright. Cool, I guess. Let's see the bridge getting built. That's going to take a while, probably. Yeah. Unfinished road 147. Uh, stage by stage here, I see. So first the concrete. And then what? Then is the gravel and the asphalt. Yeah. Done. Alright. Now next step would be so my the majority of my important buildings are around here 
I will need... How many people am I going to need? If I have to produce other things, even more. But this is like... 45, 45, 45. 750. So... Uh, 900 people. That's a whole new neighborhood, bro. Um, this fire station is so not in its place. Yeah, I think I want to put it kind of over here. Let's build a fire station. State infrastructure, emergency fire station. That's a small one. Yeah, the other one is too big. Yeah. Yeah, let's put it on this side, I guess. Boom. Come on. Let's do very fast. Uh, coal vehicles. Change workplace depot for all vehicles here. Okay, and now we can destroy. Good. And this one has access to everything that we care about around here. Eh, to an extent. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I don't care. Um, fires don't happen that often anyway. Okay, so. Uh, what, did I, what was I supposed to do? Yeah, add more residents. Hmm. So residential areas and again I don't really care about planning this because we are at the end of this campaign so I just also I don't want them to be educated this was these ones right yeah let's not do the same thing again that's uh 270 what's the next biggest one 255 no this is the ones that I placed are they they look very similar but they're not the same Interesting. Type 75. Something 287. Long ones. <laughs> okay, 160, 180. Interesting, I have not placed these ones. 220, what is this? Ah, this is these ones, yeah. These are brick ones. 157. No, I want something above. 200. Ah, it sucks that I cannot actually filter them by the things that I care about. Yeah, let's put these ones. How are we going to do it? Uh, well, I think I can do it very... How much did I say this is? 210, so I should place like 5 of them. Let's not get citizens for at least one of them. I think is a good idea. Uh, that should be enough. I set one of them, not all of them. But I will just go and fix that. Uh, notify me no Get citizens. Yep, you'll get citizens. Get this... Allow citizens. Uh, randomly move citizens. No. What is this? Uh, how many citizens to get, I guess. Get citizens. So you have more control here, or you also have that control here? I think you have it. Yeah, you will ha you have it if you uh, place a new building. Okay, let's build those. Oh, wait. Should give them the paths, of course, as always. Come on, you can do it. That's very nice. Let's do it. Do I want to do all of them? I don't think so. But I'm going to do it nevertheless. Let's 
Let's give our people options to walk, right? This is the Soviet Republic after all. Everyone should walk. And we should probably have... Uh, okay. Connections like this. Maybe here to the store? That's the store, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Thing like that looks really nice. Okay, so... 4%, that's good, that's good. Uh, so this is everyone who is from the Republic and didn't have a place to live. I don't know why everyone with university education comes here, but sure, guys. Um, now, I have to start producing. So we need to bring a lot of people here. How many? I don't know at this moment. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to buy buses. Bus. Total capacity. 80, 65. Can we get something faster, actually? Ooh, speed. 90. 65. So this is actually the slowest one, but it has the most... 90 yeah the most passengers 85 kilometers 40 passengers this one has double the capacity and it's not much slower 75 52 yeah it's going to be this one i think we should start with probably something like 10 because that's 800 workers i will probably need more let's buy let's make them 10 oof i'm out of money oh my god bro Maybe I should have bought something. Something from the USA. Oh yeah, what? Let's buy something from the USA. 13,000. This is 88, 83 passengers. That's what I was looking for, bro. And by speed. Oh, even cars. Mars Ponton beat. Nice, nice, nice. 120. Oh, wow. Page one out of one. Okay, let's start again with 10. Um, let's take the first one and a new stop. From here, bro, to all the way to there. And here, wait, uh, here you're going to load and here you're going to unload. Okay, and... I love how this works. Our new American buses, bro. Oh, yeah, I know these buses. I have seen them in movies. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. We spent some dollars as well. I mean, we have, so why not? Okay, uh, I should not forget to... Where is my... Our related vehicles. Uh, bus platform, 3 out of 10. The line is this spacing is disabled. There we go. Let's space the line as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure we should. Number of passengers. What are you even waiting for here? No one knows, guys. Ah, uh, uh, of course they're going to go first there, right? <laughs> Just to waste my time. I am pretty sure, by the way, that I should have done something about this. We actually have plenty of trains nowadays. I could buy even more. Although coal is really not... I, I probably haven't even recuperated the price for uh, the trains yet. Import, export. What am I importing so much? Foreign manpower. Ah, for building stuff. Oh, good work, comrades. With our successful iron ore production, we are well prepared to supply our future steel mills. Your efforts will have laid the groundwork for the industrial growth and progress of the Soviet Republic. Awesome! Steel production! 
Greetings, as the Minister of Industry, I recommend prioritizing the steel industry. Steel is not only valuable for trade on the markets, but also essential in the production of various goods and construction projects. By focusing on steel production, we lay a solid foundation for industrial growth and elevate the capabilities of the Soviet Republic to new heights. Okay, Stefan Kovalev. A steel mill is a substantial industrial facility where the production of steel takes place. At the mill, coal and iron are combined in complex process to get final product steel. This facility will play an important role in our nation's industrial development. Steel mills built. Okay, so I have to build a steel mill and I, I think that one required a bunch of workers. Look at that. Um, I think we don't have a problem with workers to be honest. 510, okay. Steel mill. And that one required coal and iron, so I will have to deliver coal here. Oh, that might be a problem. Uh, actually not. I will need another distribution, probably. Or buy more trains. And or just use these trains to deliver my coal here instead of uh, exporting it. So these guys are producing the iron here. Um, hmm, okay, let's see how much. What do we need here? 200 tons of iron. 375 of coal. I'm producing how much of iron? I will have to export, right? 300. Yeah. I definitely produce too much aggregate storage import 43 tons of steel oh that's 500 oh i need more citizens i need more citizens i need 1500 if i'm going to do this properly and also i definitely needed a rail uh for bringing the people there oh uh, because my bus is going to be insane um maybe a tram do i have trams railway no where is that depot for citizens where are the trams are they here depots train railway uh, was there trams in this game train platform no but there is metro maybe we can build metro but it's probably super expensive Hmm, actually it's not a bad idea, now that I think about it. Yeah, why don't we do that? Hmm, we can place the station somewhere in the center, probably, hopefully. If I even remember how that's built, I will do it. Uh -huh. And we need to put some empty buildings, I think, because we're absolutely at maximum capacity. These guys probably don't have culture as well, right? Okay. Hmm. Let me, let me figure out how I'm going to do this. And I will see you there. Yep, see you there. Okay, here we are. I have placed a few things. We have a connection here for the iron to be delivered to the steel mill. The steel mill is under construction and that's going to take a while because that's one of the biggest buildings in this game, if I'm not mistaken. It takes a bunch of things, you know? So yeah, I should have built it probably with uh, dollars anyway. We have this rail here with a small bridge, which is right next to the water. But we don't really care about these things right now, because this campaign is close to finishing. We have this... Why was this train stopping? I do not know. But anyway, yeah, so we have the connections here that we need. I don't have electricity. I should have... Oh... This one, oh, it has to be electrified. No, it doesn't matter because we are using diesel trains anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, 69, 70. Good, good, good. We are getting a bunch of iron. And what I have to do actually now is... I will come here. All related vehicles. And this 
this line is going to be changed so load here and how do you remove clear line data hmm. 10 kilometers oh my god uh how do you do you just delete the line can i edit it delete stop aha uh -huh. line has unsafe changes and then add new stop oh let's finish building it first because i cannot add it as a stop which makes complete sense when you think about it Unload. Our next objective is to transport both iron and coal to the steel mill. Additionally, ensure workforce is played to initiate the manufacturing process to produce our very first steel. Yep, yep, that's done. Start the production. Start up the production in steel mill. Yeah, we are doing that. Yes. Load 100 and load 100. Come on, guys. Bring me the coal. Where are you going now? What's the problem here? You shouldn't have a problem there, buddy. Ask. Yeah, just go there. Unload 100. Wait until unloaded. View area or the... <laughs> Ignore. Now you're going to block all my traffic. Hmm, what's your problem? Go to depot. Okay, now can I set you? Um, steel mill. Are you still? Cancel go to depot. I already cancelled you're going to the depot, bro. Yeah, they get confused, I guess. I don't know why. Well, I hope they figure it out. Ah, there you go. This one is going to figure it out. This one is going to be confused for a while. Yeah, we have some. Oh, iron is full. That makes sense. Yay! Producing? Yes. Congratulations, comrade. With the successful operation of our steel mill, we have taken a significant step towards industrial progress. Now our next objective is to produce a minimum of 60 tons of steel. Your dedication to this endeavor is, vi as is vital as we... Continue to strengthen our industrial capabilities and contribute to the growth of the Soviet Republic. Produce 60 tons. Well, that's going to happen pretty quickly. I definitely need maybe more trains or not. The next one is coming. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, so I have the same problem here. Uh, and I think I'm going to fix it if I just place this. Right? Yeah. I don't know why. Doesn't make much sense to me, but that's how it works. Do we have a third one? Yes, we do. Uh, I'm curious if that uh, last one is still confused. This one is already empty. No, it still has... interesting. Why are you leaving then? Bros, bros, why are you leaving? Stop leaving! Oh, what? Bro, no, stop, stop, go back! Uh, view line, set line... 
advanced setup no change direction so delete move to this stop yes okay so turn around move to that stop unload yes and wait good po can you unload here wait until you unload it 100% of call turn around move to this stop well done comrades i don't know what's going on with this train the efforts in steel production have positive results as our warehouses now hold a significant stock of this crucial resource your commitment to driving our industrial growth is commendable and we are well positioned to support the further development in our soviet republic hey com campaign completed congratulations against all odds oh yeah it was so difficult you have successfully laid the foundation for a brand new republic in a barren land i got the achievement with unwavering determination you've transformed this once desolate place into a thriving nation your visionary leadership has paved the way for a bright and promising future where dreams of self-sufficiency progress and independence have become a reality slogans man this achievement represents the triumph of hope and perseverance and your legacy as the founding leader of this remarkable republic will be celebrated for generations to come nice good to know what happens next nothing we just finished it and we are out of coal here of course yeah so in general don't do it like uh, i just did it um a better idea would be to have like a storage delivered there because these trains man they don't do what you want me want them to do this is the confused one yeah it's very confused anyway it doesn't matter we finished the campaign so we don't care about that very much all right and this will mark the end of today's episode wow this was honestly a blast i loved every second of it i really appreciate what the devs did with this campaign it was very helpful especially for new uh players to get to know how the systems work you know teaches you essential production chains how different systems interact with each other how to produce basic resources especially for the needs of your citizens so i can't wait to check the second one out i'm pretty sure we will go into much more depth there with more complex things but what about you do you find this campaign interesting or maybe useful let me know in the comment section below also support my work by smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel thank you for watching and see you in the next one